Ron P, the OG here, coming to you with some prize picks for the day. Today's day is 5-6, 2022. Let's do a little brief cap, a little brief recap from last night. Last night I gave you three props that I like. Aaron Savelle under three and a half strikeouts. He went way over. He actually had eight strikeouts. Um, thought he would go under, but I was wrong on that one. We had Chris Archer over four and a half strikeouts. He got six, and we had Miles McCullis under five strikeouts. He got three. So two of the suggestions I gave to you yesterday came through. One didn't. If you use my suggestions and you use them all together, you got two out of three right. I think you would win 1.5 extra money. And if you, you know, played them individually together in two plays, uh, you would have got, you know, at least hit where you, uh, you would have won one time where you got both of them right with Chris Archer and McCullis. So if you use them, great. If you didn't, you better start using these picks. So that's all I have for the recap. We're going to be right back with today's uh, prop suggestions. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel, channel if you haven't done so already. Both of those things will be greatly appreciated. Picks. Uh, looking at the fantasy score section for the NBA, first player I'm going to look at is James Harden. His prop on the night is 40. Over his last five, he's won over 42 of his last five. For Philly to win this game, to get back in this series, because if they lose tonight, the series is over. James Harden has to play a complete game. He's going to have to give you points. He's going to have to give you assists and a few rebounds. James has not played up to James Harden standards. Of course, he's still playing okay, but hasn't played up to James Harden standards. I'm leaning toward the over 40 for the uh, prop on this one tonight. Because it's a must win, James Harden has to play well. If he plays well, he's going to get us over uh, 40 fantasy points. The second player I'm looking at is Jimmy Butler. His prop is 43 on the night. Let's look at his last five. His last five, he's went over 43 in four out of his last five. Again, this is a must win for Philadelphia tonight. Jimmy is great all the time. But I got Jimmy going under the 43 for the night. Because I think how I'm seeing this game play out, I'm seeing Philly is going to try to stop Butler, you know, and they're going to get out and they're going to really attempt to win this game. I just like Butler to go under the prop of 43 for tonight. Mm -hmm. Next player I'm looking at is Spencer Dinwiddie for Dallas against Phoenix. His prop on the night is 19. Let's look at his last five. He's been over 19 in two of his last five straight up here then we should have 19 points this this fantasy score should not even be an option for him during the season after he was traded to the Mavs he was the Mavs third leading scorer then Whitty should have 19 points not just 19 fantasy points he has to play better for them to even have a chance in this series they're in home so I expect them to play better and I expect him to eclipse this fantasy score of 19, which to me is ridiculously low for him. He should have 19 actual points. So, hope I wasn't too assertive about that, but Ben Whitty should have 19 actual points. He should blast this fantasy score points of 19. The next player I'm looking at is Maxi Kleber for Dallas. Of course, you can't use both of these players in your place, you're going to have to pick one other, Dinwiddie or Kleber. But I think Maxi is a great prop for us tonight. His prop is 17. Let's look at his last five. He went over three of his last five. He's went over 17, plus the last two games against Phoenix on the road. Now he's in home. 
he's a stretch five. He goes out and shoots those threes all over the floor. DeAndre Ayton guards him pretty well, but you know, just like any big man, they do not want to cover that three. All he has to do is hit a couple threes. He's in his rhythm, and he gives us, you know, a few rebounds here and there, and he gives us a couple assists. I like Maxi Kleber over 17, which I think is also too low for tonight. Uh, I think Maxi really benefits from being at home, really benefits from Luca driving the ball. Don't think they're not in Luca's head telling him, hey, drive and kick to the open shooters. I think you see that tonight. Uh, I like Maxi Kleber over 17 tonight, 17 fantasy points, that is. So those are three of the picks I like for tonight. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. You can chop it up in the comments about who you rolling with tonight. But these three guys I like for tonight. So that's all I have for today. Until the next video, peace. Ron.